Hello everybody, it's Friday, last phonics of the week. Well done, we've got through another week. You're all amazing. Do you remember my three tricky words we've been doing this week? Can you tell me them? See if you can tell them to me. Well done, did you get all three? I think some of you might have done. We've got, what's this one? Because, correct, well done. This one, people, well done. And the last one, can't, super job. All right, today's challenge is to pause the video now, have a go at spelling those three words. If you think you're pretty confident at spelling those three words, which I know some of you will be, um, your, that, your challenge then is to put them into a sentence. So to write three sentences, one with people, one with because, and one with can't. So you're either writing the three words, if you just need to practice spelling them, that's fine, um, or you're writing them into sentences. Okay, so you can pause the video now and just do that first little job for me. Well done. Have you all had a go? So you've either written the three words or you've written them into a sentence. Just check your spellings. Big elephants can always understand small elephants. Did you get that one right? If you didn't, just change it. Don't worry, keep practicing, we'll get there. If you did, super. People, People. do you remember that spelling? Well done. And the last one was can't, wasn't it? Yeah, can't, super. Okay, this week we are adding I-N-G. So it's our last day of that today. Um, so we're just gonna go over our rules. I'm not gonna talk too much today. It's a little game for you to do. So I'll just go over our rules with you. Four rules. Can you tell me one of them? Well done. Can you remember another one? Brilliant. I'm going to show you my four rules, see if you can remember them all. So, if the root word, do you remember the root word? I talked about that yesterday. If it's got a short vowel and a consonant at the end, we double the consonant and then we add ing. Yeah? Uh, if it ends in an E, we get rid of the E and then add ing. If it ends in a Y, we just add I-N-G, keep the Y. And or if not, if it doesn't fit any of those, then you just add I-N-G. If you follow these rules, you will almost always do it right. There's sometimes always little exceptions, but we'll, we'll be able to normally do it right. Everything that we need, okay, in year two, um, we'll be able to cover with these rules. All right, so hopefully you are familiar with those rules. Today, what I'm gonna do when I upload this video, hopefully I'll remember this week because last week I forgot, sorry, thank you, James's mummy, you reminded me. Um, last week I forgot quite a few things. I'm gonna try really hard this week not to. Um, so, what am I saying? Yes, when I upload this video, I will try to remember to upload you um, a PDF with two games to choose from, a suffix games. I keep looking down here because it's just here. This is what they look like, okay? It's like a little, it's an A4 sheet with just some words on, the root words. And then there's another one. I think they're pretty much the same, like same difficulty, you know? Not one's harder than the other, so you could do both or one. And what happens is you print it out and you get a little counter each. And then you roll the dice, move along, and whichever one you land on, so what's that one? Cool. You then write it cooling, yeah? And then you move along again. And if you get it right, great. If you get it wrong, you have to go back a space, okay? So you can play that with a grown-up in your house if there's someone to play it with. If not, you could just play it on your own. If you can't print these out, because I know lot, not everyone's got printers at home that we can use, so and that's fine. You could either make the board game yourself, or you could use the words to make a different game. 
So you could get like pieces of paper or pieces of card and write, you could write lose on one and then losing on another to make a pair, yeah? Then you could write bite on one and biting on another to make a pair. You could write cool on one and cooling on another to make a pair, yeah? And once you've got a few different pairs, you can either play snap with those with those cards or one that I like to do, which is quite nice, is just spread them all out face down on the table. And if you can play it with someone else or two or three people, but two is fine, you turn one over and turn another one over and see if you found a pair. So it's like a memory game pairs. So say if you turned over lose and losing, that would be a pair. If you turned over lose and cool, that wouldn't be a pair, yeah? So you have a go and then the other person has a go. And it's also about trying to remember where you saw the pairs. Okay, so that's two choices today. If you are able to either print out the board game that I'll put on for you or copy it down onto a piece of paper, cool, do that if you want to. Or use the words from the PDF to make your own little card game, yeah? Just give me a couple of ideas there. You might have a different idea of your own. And then send us a picture of what you do or send us a picture of you playing it, that would be great. And also if there's a grown-up there to check or you're adding ings, I-N-G's, that would be fab. Or just put upload, upload what you've done and we will check them for you. Okay, so listen, uh, before I go today for the Ready for the Weekend, I just thought you might like to see the pictures behind me because I know sometimes I've been talking to some um, teachers at school sometimes in meetings in this room and uh, they said, oh, what's, who's those pictures behind you? And I thought you might like to see, because I know you like to know things about me and we like to talk about our lives, don't we? So I've thought I'd lift it up. Oh my goodness, I'm not doing a very good job. I'll just show you a couple, I won't bore you. But this picture here, can you see? That is my twins. I've told you I've got twins, haven't I? This is Seth and this is Elsie and that's them as a baby. And now they are in year five, so they're nine years old now. And I'll just show you one more. Oh, the light's reflecting off, but that, which one do you think's me? That's me and my sister. Can you tell which one's me? <laughs> the one with the crazy hair, big bowl haircut, that's me. Okay, I just thought you might like to see um, a few pictures because sometimes when someone's sitting in front of a background, you think, oh, what's going on, don't you? Oh my goodness, I've gone all wobbly. Sorry, everybody. Okay. Uh, that's it for this week. Have a go at playing the game with the ING endings. Well done. Um, we've got one more week of term. I think if my brain's working right, it might not be. I think that's right. After this week, we've got one more week. Then it's half term. And I really hope to see you soon after that. But we'll just have to wait and see. All right. Well done, everybody. Loads of love. Have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.